Hi people, welcome to the Cowbridge Kitchen. We're here exclusively to show you guys how to cook like a pro. Okay, going to show you some tips, going to show you some tricks and a few little nifty workarounds so that you get it right first time, every time. Okay, um, what we're going to make today, we are going to make some um, pastry, okay? Um, I'm wearing a butcher's apron today. It's not a fashion statement, it's just because this gets a bit messy, okay? It's flour and it'll wind up everywhere all over the kitchen. So we're going to make some, um, like I said, some pastry. Um, I'm going to show you, it's going to be nice and light pastry, okay? Um, short crust, stroke puff pastry. It's going to have plenty of butter in it, okay? So it should be pretty, pretty decent pastry for a pie. So what we're going to need for this, um, we are going to need some flour, okay? Plain flour. Some butter, uh, salted butter. We're going to want 100 grams of this for the uh, pastry. Um, and because it's a 250 gram block, we'll have the other 150 grams we'll use for rubbing into the flour. But I'll show you that in a second. Um, and what we need then is some salt. Okay, a little pinch of salt and water. That's it. That is the foundation of our okay, pastry. So first things first, we're going to want 250 grams of plain flour. So we're just going to measure that out onto my scales here. 150, 130, there you go, 250 grams of plain flour. <clears throat> Set that aside, okay. What we need next then, um, like I said, we're going to divide this butter into two, okay. So we're going to take 100 grams of butter for the mix into the pastry. So let's just open him. There we go. So 250, um, so we're looking at probably about there. I'm thinking. I'll take a little look now how much we've got on this half. 150 there. 100 grams there. Fantastic. Pretty good guess. Um, okay, so we're going to set the 100 grams of butter aside. And the other 150 grams of butter can go over to there and we've got our salt. Okay, so we've now got all of our ingredients measured out. Time to make a little bit of a space here and get it in a bowl. So, okay, we've got our mixing bowl here. Take a sieve and what we want to do really now is just sieve this flour the whole lot into that bowl. Okay, this is a dead simple, basic stuff. Okay, get that flour sieved. So we take a a few seconds. There we are, all the lumps sieved nicely out of that. Uh, okay, we're going to put a pinch of salt. Well, when we say a pinch of salt, we mean about that much salt, okay? So there we are, that's a pinch of salt. We'll move him aside. With the butter now, we're going to incorporate the butter into the pastry in small cubes. I say small cubes, they're more like small rectangles, but you get the general idea. You don't want to put it in all at once, okay? So we'll pop that over there, get our bowl again, and butter in. So we'll do two at a time, okay? Basically what you're going to do then, because this butter's kind of at room temperature anyway, you're sort of kneading, sort of sifting it if you like, squeezing the butter into the pastry and running that through until the butter is kind of gone. Uh, it's been sort of absorbed into the pastry, okay? And we're going to do that with all those little chunks of butter, and that is going to take us take us a little while. And what we want to get to then is a bread crumb, a bread crumb consistency. Okay, so we're looking for, um, for for this for this sort of mixture to turn to bread crumbs. So I'll carry on with this now, and then we shall show you the finished article. Okay, so there we go. Um, as predicted, we got messy. It was inevitable, and um, flour everywhere. Don't even ask. But we've got the pastry. Um, breadcrumb mix already made up. So if we just take another look over here now, we can show you the consistency we want it and get our water in and we can turn it into a nice pastry. So here is our um, our, our pastry mix. Okay, but it looks like breadcrumbs now. So if I just show you this, there we go. Okay, breadcrumbs, no real lumps in there. And that butter is all nicely mixed in. Okay, so we shake that out flat. What we do, make a little well in the center of there now. Um, we're going to add some water, okay, two to three, well, teaspoons really, but we're going we're gonna to go with the um, serving spoons. We're going to just do one at a time, okay? So we get one in there, get that in, 
And then you, you can use your hands if you like. So if you want to tip and you don't want to get too messy, like I already have, mix it in with a spoon, okay? Get that mixed in. Get it all folded over. Okay. You, you can tell um, within the first you know, a few minutes of mixing it, whether you've got enough water in there or not. And if you use one hand only, okay, you only risk getting one hand dirty if you want to scrape that off, okay? Obviously, there's not enough water in there, so we'll throw another one in. Basically, keep doing that now until your pastry starts to form. At some point, you are going to have to use your hand to, to, to mix this in. Um, I think that point is... Is probably now to be fair okay so predictions of more messiness to come I'm gonna get both hands in here and start mixing it up okay it already feels quite light just squeeze it all in all right ideally where you want this to go now is so it mixes up there we are so you know just do it around get it all together you know what it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it once you've got it all mixed together we will eventually wind up with a nice ball of pastry okay and if you think it's a bit dry although that isn't it looks like two was was enough there for us okay we're going to get that all mixed in okay there we are so what we're going to do as you can see it's started to form now together okay it's not done obviously because there's still bits everywhere but where we want to do now we can take this out of the bowl now at this stage and we can get that onto a floured board and we can then knead it uh, like like a piece of like a piece of dough really um, for a little while. So we'll just clear this up now and we'll get that on the board. Okay, so basically now I've had a little bit of a clean up. Okay, what we want is a little bit of flour on that board, and we're going to get our pastry, squeeze it down, squeeze it in, turn it over. Okay, so all that little bit of flour gets consumed into it. And basically, what you want to do now is just knead this pastry. Like, oh, like a piece of dough, okay? And you'll see when you press it, it starts to spring back, okay? So there we are, all nice and pressed. And keep doing that. The more you do this, you know, you can keep doing this if you want. The more you do it, just the better it's gonna be, okay? It's just gonna keep softening, get becoming more pliable, and um, everything, everything about it is just, going to improve and we're going to get a nice round there we go okay so what we'll do and um, we'll leave that there um just to rest now for a few minutes and we'll get the rest of the uh, butter and everything all ready um to roll this out so with our extra butter now and um, what we've done is we've softened this in the microwave um so that you know you can you could squash it all up really okay and that's exactly what we want to do so we're going to pop that into a container and just with your hands or, or a spoon if you like just get that butter so it's it's easily spreadable okay um, and obviously the more you do this with your hands the more that is gonna go nice and soft okay so we want it quite soft quite spreadable 150 grams which is the remaining butter um, from our our full block of butter okay so that's uh, you know that's pretty good I can spread that quite nicely okay so we we'll keep that aside now we'll keep that at room temperature we're going to be using it pretty soon okay so we'll just keep that there and we'll show you now what to do with the flour okay so we're back over here now um, with our pastry what we're going to do now is get this rolled out okay so this is going to go onto a floured surface here we're going to roll it out and then we're going to give it layers of butter fold it, roll it, butter, fold it. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that now, and then we just leave it to rest. Okay, so we're gonna get a floured surface. Okay, just take a spoon, get a bit of flour onto this surface here. Run them around. There we are, and our pastry now onto the flour. Okay, expect much mess um, from me here because I'm not a baker, I'm a chef. Okay, and I'm sure you'll probably discover that now whilst I'm rolling this pastry out, okay? But hey ho, I had to show you how to make it because I said I would. Right, um, we need to get this quite flat. There we go. Okay, now, bearing in mind we want enough pastry here to be able to make a pie, a base, and a lid, really. So we're gonna need a lot um, out of this. 
So there we are, we can get it. As you can see, you're rolling it, and because obviously because we haven't cooled it down yet, it's actually rolling back on itself as well. Um, you know, which was only to be expected. But what we want to do is to get a nice, decent triangular piece out of here. There we are, we already just, you've discovered that I'm not a baker now. Um, my cack handed way of rolling stuff out. But there we are, it's uh, virtually, virtually done. We want a nice, long, long piece here. Okay, nice, long, long piece. And what we're gonna do with this now, I'm gonna get a knife and we're gonna cut it into, we're gonna cut the ends off here. Okay, so get rid of that. We're gonna cut that down straight there. Gonna cut this down straight there. And just lob that bit off there. And keep this bit of pastry, okay, because it can be used again. So we'll roll it up into a ball and we'll keep it there. Okay, with this now, we've got our soft butter. I'm gonna use the back of a spoon, okay? I always use the back of a spoon for spreading anything. This just works well for me. So we've got our nice floured bit of pastry there. And I wanna get some butter on it, okay? So spread this butter on. Like I said, this is why you need the butter quite pliable because you want it to be able to spread over the whole lot. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with spreading this now and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we mean when we're finished. Okay, hopefully what we can see here now is um, I've got my nice rectangle of pastry and it's got a nice layer of butter over it, okay, it's smothered in butter. What we're gonna do with this now is fold it and then re-roll it, okay, and do the same thing again. So we're gonna fold it, roll it out, nice rectangle, smother it with butter again. I'll do one more turn of this and then we'll leave it to rest. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is fold it in half, like that. Fold it in half again, like that. Okay. Reflour if you need to reflour. Not too much flour. Okay, so there you are. This reflour's a little bit too much flour there. Told you to expect much mess. Uh, there we are. So we'll get that onto there. Nice bit of flour over the top and we're gonna re-roll it. Okay, so you're getting a bit more of a shape to this now. Yeah, you're getting a nice shape to this bit of pastry. Okay, you're rolling all that butter into it. I mean, you're gonna get some butter comes out and that's fine. Uh, it's only to be expected. I mean, unless you've got the amount in there exact, then you're gonna lose, lose some butter coming out of the pastry. But don't worry too much about it. It's fine, just keep rolling that pastry out. Okay, so once this is rolled out, nice and, rectangular again what we'll do we will recover it in butter okay so it is now only half the size of the original rectangle remember we're not going to roll it out to the same size that's not going to happen okay so now we've got half a rectangle butter again what i did um earlier found that the maybe the butter was a little tiny bit too hard so just prang it in the microwave if it doesn't spread properly just ripping your, your pastry uh when you do it okay Put it back in the microwave and uh, just a little bit so, so it's almost runny if you like i suppose there we are so there's our butter on the pastry again same process okay you can do this a number of times you can do this four or five times if you like i'm probably going to only do it once more so i'm going to fold it over and then refold it again and then what we'll do is we will roll that out one more time and then we'll end up with a nice block which we'll cut into a perfect square, wrap it in cling film, and it goes in the fridge. Okay, this for me now is my last layer because the reason I'm not a baker is because I can't stand it. Um, it's plain and simple. So I'm gonna fold this pastry over once again now, and then we're gonna fold it over into a nice triangle. There we are, or rectangle, sorry, not even a triangle. Okay, um, we're gonna get ourselves a knife and we're going to just cut this now into a decent shape okay because we want a decent shape there we are okay so if you take a look at this now i can show you this there we are that's our pastry okay you can see all the little layers in that once that's been in the fridge now that is going to hopefully be nice and light and even rise a little bit as you can see over here it's a complete and utter mess Looks like a child's cooking class. However, it's done. I've got a bit of cling film here. I'm going to wrap this puff pastry into the cling film. 
Yeah, so we're just going to pop that in there. We're going to cut that cling film off there. Wrap it up. There we are. Puff pastry now. That can go and sit in the fridge for 20 minutes, half an hour or so. Leave it in there overnight if you like. And so now our pastry is um, out of the fridge. What we're going to do is we're going to leave it on a chopping board at room temperature. You just need to get it pliable now. So that's probably going to be left at room temperature um, an hour, maybe, hour and a half. Okay, um, so with our pastry made, um, you can pretty much do a number of things with that. Okay, that's it for the pastry. Um, remember, you can, make so you, know, you can make sausage rolls out of that. You can make a pie out of that. You can use it for various uh, various different reasons, okay? There is a video on here now um, with a uh, steak and ale pie or steak and stout pie, which I use the pastry in. Um, take a look and see what you think. Um, but please experiment with it um, and enjoy it. It's a good pastry and it works really well.